Hi guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back on another video. This time it's a huge Tamu haul. I got a bunch of cute accessories, anime video game related uh, decorations, and also some cute stuff to wear as well. So ah, I'm so thankful that Temu decided to sponsor this video. I actually ordered from them right before they reached out to me. So I include some of the stuff that I got that was worth like $80, but then I got a 30% off coupon and I brought it down to $40, 40 ish dollars, a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, so they also supplied me with a code for you guys as well, so you guys can get that benefit. So, the code is right here, and they sent me $200 worth of stuff on top of the $44, $45 stuff that I already got on my own. So, I'm so excited to show you guys. I don't normally do videos like this, so let's get right into it. So, guys, let's begin this haul. And this is in no order, particular order by any chance. So, yeah, I'll try to organize and link everything in the description. I got a ton of cute stuff. Starting with this case from my Nintendo Switch. It's a Kirby case and it's so adorable. The hardest part um, was installing. Um, the case for the actual switch not the controllers the controllers were pretty easy to put in even then i still struggle a little bit but that's just due to my own incompetence not the product but look how nice of a quality it is you guys will see what i mean now that i've installed the body part um i had to use tweezers to install it but otherwise it's such a cute fit so only other downside is that it makes it hard to used a kickstand on the tablet so i ended up removing it from the main switch but i kept the controllers because look how cute it is it's so cute ah uh, it matches my setup really nicely and so the next set of items more kirby we got wallaby on a cloud how cute is that these are made out of plastic so they're actually high quality um, I don't know if they're bath toys or not, but let's take a quick break to this drawer organizer that I use for my stickers. Like they're the perfect size. And you guys can buy my stickers on my online shop, shop.caretube.com. Um, I will be launching more products because right now I only have a couple of those stickers on my website for sale. The rest will be up soon. So make sure you're tuned in to my shop update. Just go on my website and sign up um, with your email notification. And uh, this organizer is perfect. I loved it so much that I got a, another one. You guys will see later on on the haul, but some more Kirby. Oh my gosh. I believe this one is Sword Kirby, one of my favorite. I like this one a lot, but it was it was kind of hard for me to stand it up, but oh, it's so cute. And this set, I believe, comes with around 11 different Kirbys for like $10, at least when I bought it. Um, I think the price has risen since then. They have another set with different Kirbys, and they're all so cute. Oh man, this is a Kirby's dream and they feel really good, like good quality. Um, I've since scattered them throughout my room and on my bookshelf, which I'll show you guys in another video. And we have another item. This is actually was supposed to be for car seats. It's like a plush pillow, but it was perfect for my chair, my office chair. And it's so comfortable too. And it's so cute. Oh man, there's just a lot of cute stuff on Temu for a very affordable price. Another item I got was this hidden leaf Naruto headband. It wasn't the best quality, but it was like really cheap. I think I got it for 89 cents. And um, I really, I really like it. Despite the quality, it's, uh, it's you can get some really cheap cosplay items on this website. Look, I'm me putting it on and um, that's just how it looks. It's pretty comfortable. It's long enough, so it fits my big head, so it'll fit yours. Um, yeah, it's my first time doing things like this, so ignore the awkward poses. And the other item I got, it's this actually like bag holder hook. It's really cute. Um, it was much smaller than I expected. It was like around a couple dollars when I got it. It was three dollars or so. It was really easy to install. I just used thumbtacks at the bottom. And um, yeah, it was pretty sturdy. I put my keys, a mask, 
I eventually ended up putting my bags there. I got this other thing. It's like a silicone mold, but you put water in it. And it gives you a frozen beer. Um, this one was super cheap too. It was like a dollar. I wouldn't recommend this one since it was a it was a lot of pain to get the ice out. I had to fight it. There's another one that I saw in Temu that's around four or five dollars, a little bit more expensive, but it's much easier to use. But either way, it was actually it was really cute. Oh the type of things that would have in boba places where I'm at. And I got another item. It's this headband. I came in two pieces. It's supposed to be this Lolita type of style. Um, at first I didn't know how to put it on, but it's very simple. There's like a little sleeve part for you to like, like shimmy the headband part on. It's really, really cute. Um, normally when I get accessories, I get other stuff to match with it, but this one was just kind of a splurge purchase so that I could get free shipping. And this is how it looks. Uh, so even if you do have short hair, this is how long it is. And it does have clips on the side to hold your hair so it doesn't move. So this one, another cute find on Temo. I liked it so much. At first, um, I didn't think it looked nice on me, but then it grew, it grew. Um, I just, and I also tried it on with this other hair wig. Um, that you guys can see right here that I'm gonna cover more later on the video. And that's also a wig I got on Temu. And we got some more cute headbands. We got cinnamon roll. It was so adorable. Oh, you guys look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh. And I got a matching cinnamon roll bag to match. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this one. I'm pretty sure it's a purse, but it also came with like a crossbody lanyard. So that's pretty nice. It's pretty big. Um, it's not just like a cute accessory bag. I feel like it could fit a tiny sketchbook in there, my phone, and um, a portable charger. And I love that the lanyard is also like cinnamon roll. So it's really, really cute. Um, I just wish that I would pick what it wants to be. Is it a handbag or a crossbody? You guys will see a close up in one moment as I put it on. But yeah, it even has like a little tail on the back. It's so cute. It's really, really cute. But there was a bunch of cinnamon roll bags on Temu. Um, I would I would pick another one in the future. This one is cute. But again, when I put it as a side body, I love it as a side body. But then what do I do with the handles? I can't just tuck them in the bag. When I do that, it looks a little bit weird. But this is how it looks with the headband. Um, regardless of my complaints, I still really enjoy this. It's uh, so cute. Ah! <laughs> Some more close-up. I will one day make a cinnamon roll theme outfit, but for now, this is all I got, so. This is what I mean, guys. This is a little tail on the back and how awkward it is having it as a side body. It should just be a handbag. It works perfectly as a handbag. And I got another cute headband that you guys saw me wearing in the intro. And here it is again. And I got a matching bag to match. And this is the bag. It's a bear bag. It's so cute, but there's like practically no space in there. Like uh, you can fit your keys. You guys can see it's mostly plush, so. Unless you have like a really tiny phone. I have a big phone so it won't fit in there, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. It was another one of those things that cost only a couple of dollars. <gasps> Look how cute it is. How great it matched the plush headband. Ah! <laughs> I just wish that it had adjustable straps. The straps are not adjustable. That's the only downside, but it, oh, it's still cute. And I got this cute fox beret. It was so nice. And um, 
I didn't know how to put it on guys. <laughs> At first when I put it on, the ears were all the way to the back. And so I was finessing it, trying to figure out how to fix it. Thankfully, I was FaceTiming my friend while filming this portion of the video. So she helped me out. And uh, I'm gonna just let the whole thing play out in case anybody else runs through that issue and they don't know how to properly put on a beret. Cause I tried so many things and I felt like I looked silly. My friend Sam helped me out a bunch. Um, this is how you actually probably wear it. You gotta fold in the inside of the beret inside of each other and um, put it in like that. Um, I'm not sure if I explained it well. So I'm gonna like Sam Instagram down below. Charmy, she's also getting sponsored by Temu. So I'm hoping she makes a YouTube video. She mostly posts on Instagram. So hopefully uh, she picked a lot of cute things too. So that's how you probably wear it guys. Um, yeah, I felt so good after I figured that out. I was wearing this beret wrong for weeks. Uh, I got this other thing. This is an organizer for sunglasses, I believe, but I use it for my socks. It was the perfect size. Look at it, guys. I know it looks crazy right now. It was filled with socks and uh, there's a bunch of different compartments and now you never lose your socks. Uh, there's one for my long socks. So. Yeah, this one was definitely a great purchase for me. Um, I'm never losing my socks again. And it hangs up in the closet perfectly. And now onto the next item set. Uh, this video is also random, so I there's items that are mixed, but yeah, this is... Let's start off with this bag. Actually, it's more of a fanny pack and I got it because of the bottle holder part and I like the rustic look of it. I thought it would be great when I'm climbing mountains with my friends uh, going on hikes, uh, but it wasn't the best quality. Um, so uh, don't worry, I ordered a couple other fanny packs too. So I still really like the style of that one though. And now for the biggest item in my haul, a human hair wig in it's blonde the reason uh i was so excited to get this because this one is a lace front i believe it's 16 or 18 inches i don't remember exactly and lace front meaning that you s you can part the front of the hair any way you want and the reason i was so excited about this is because i could tie it um i believe that human hair is the easiest type of wigs to dye i'm not an expert but this is how it looked um before i dyed it um I was so excited to dye this wig blue and I'll just show you guys a quick um very quickly how that happened I'll probably make a full dedicated video on it on my second channel but yeah I love this a lot it felt so nice and I believe it cost around 100 bucks which is actually a great deal and um compared to Amazon and other websites um, I was able to dye very well. Um, also, I'm no expert, so it didn't take in properly, but I actually ended up really liking how it turned out. And I cut um, bangs into it, side bangs, front bangs. I believe this is called the Hema bang. I tried to curl it. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but um, I think it came out cute. <laughs> Um, I like how it looked. Um, I might dye it a little bit darker in a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just how it looked. Uh, I thought I looked really cute. So yeah. And some more items. I got another organizer to organize my stickers. This one was super handy and I thought it was really cute. It fits my smallest sticker size that I'm currently selling on my website, but it wouldn't fit the others. So I just gotta make my stickers that size, size now so I could fit it in there. Um, otherwise, yeah, it was pretty decent, pretty good quality for the price. I would recommend it. And I love that it's clear. So I'm able to see all the different sticker designs in there. And it doesn't take up too much space. And I might be ordering another one of these um, soon, like I did with the other drawer system. And now for the other fanny pack. This one is more of a gym fanny pack per se. It's one of the flat ones. 
it also has a bottle holder and i like the sleek look of it and that it's discreet i thought it was supposed to come with the bottle holder from the picture but i guess it didn't but that's fine and also has a place so you can put through your headphones which is amazing this is how it looks i love it especially on outfits where i don't have pockets like these pants i'm wearing right now they don't have pockets most of the outfits for women these days don't have pockets so i love something like this i wish it was completely jet black and didn't have the hint of green the hint of green looks nice but i don't want to draw too much attention with something like this it fits my phone perfectly but i have a big phone <laughs> on the samsung z fold 3 and yeah it can also hold a water bottle also another thing that's amazing for hikes but if i go on a hike i think i would want on something a little bit bigger that has more pocket space so probably the other one but yeah i really love this thing it's nice it's good for the quality and oh it's so comfortable too so yeah and uh, look at this giant red bow this is the actual color of it from this angle because in this angle um it looks more saturated it's not that red <laughs> In real life but i loved it for my casual kiki cosplay kiki from kiki's delivery service a studio ghibli film and oh this giant bow was only like two dollars it was a great quality and i found this little cat purse to match it looks like kiki's cat from the movie so Oh, I love this little bag. It can fit so many things. It fits my phone, it fits my wallet, it fits my keys. It's my perfect, easy to go out bag and it doesn't draw too much attention. And the straps are adjustable. And I believe this was under $10 too. And I love this so much. They also have different animals on there too. So I'll definitely be liking this one. I love it so, so much. And it's so Oh, the quality feels so good. It's so fluffy. Plushy? Fluffy? I don't know what's the right word to say that, but you guys can see the texture of it. This is how it looks at the giant bow. I wore it with like this long back dress, but um, it was in the wash when I was recording this portion of the video. So um, I'll link to a picture I took on Instagram. But yeah, you guys see if it's my phone. And uh, yeah, I'm talking because I was filming this while FaceTiming my friend. And yeah, it's just so cute. You can get some casual cosplay stuff one time over less than ten dollars. And ah, oh man, my childhood self would just be screaming. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I got another Totoro item, Studio Ghibli to be specific. And this one was so cute. It was the same quality. The only downside is that it came much smaller than I expected. I thought it was gonna be this tote bag, but it's more like a handbag which isn't bad, but um, that wasn't what I was expecting. It, it's still pretty big though. Um, I can fit a whole manga in there. Like I put the Lucky Star manga in that and it fits and there's still room in there. So um, I think it's nice when you're going grocery shopping, doing like grocery shopping. Actually, no, it's not that big, but it's like a purse size. Um, yeah. And uh, I got these little rice ball makers. They're cute. Um, I don't know if I, I don't really know how to use them. I used them before, but the rice fell apart, but I think that's because I don't have sticky rice. So I got some figurines. Look at this Luffy one. It looks really nice. Um, I, I, I haven't bought any expensive figurines before, so I don't know what's the difference, but they look good quality to me. Look at this Ram one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The only downsides about these two figurines is the stand. Occasionally they would fall, but I don't know if that's on me for the way I put them together. But yeah, I got some cute earrings as well for like a dollar. I love these ones a lot. Um, the other ones, I haven't tried them on yet, sadly, but I really love the moon one. I thought it would look nice with this hairstyle. Ah, also got these pearls. Look at one, these heart pearls. Ah, they're so cute. And uh, I got this giant Inu rug. It's not actually that big. It's really cute though. It's really cute. It's good quality. It just was a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. 
but I think it could still fit like a bathroom or something. I ended up just keeping it in my rooms since I thought it was so cute. I didn't want it to actually get dirty. So I get it through my room even though I have all carpet. I just keep it under my desk because the face makes me smile. I also got this thing. It's a magnet. It's a dirty clean magnet for dishwashers. I definitely recommend this if you have a roommate and also for your own sanity. It's so easy to use. It's a magnet, it looks sleek, and you'll always know if the dishwasher is clean or not. Like this thing has been so, so useful guys. So useful, look how easy you can use it. You can easily move it. And I like that from far away, you can easily tell if you have clean or dirty dishes. I also got this mini water dispenser. Um, it's really cute. I thought it would be a good idea to put drinks in it, like, you know, alcohol. Um, I'm 22 guys, so I thought it would be a good idea. I didn't use it for that yet. So for now, I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks like using it with water to show you guys it works. Um, I got it in the color pink since I think it matches my setup really nicely. I might actually just keep it with water because when I'm on my computer all day, I'm always dehydrated, so maybe that will, <laughs> will force me to drink. But this was also another one of those impulse purchases. It was only a couple of dollars, so I thought it was so cute. Look at it. Look how nice it matches with my setup. Maybe I'll put tea in there. No, tea's not a good idea. I think for shots, this would be really nice. I also saw people use it for mouthwash too in their bathroom, so. And here's another item that I got. It's actually a heat pad for those times when you get cramps. And I um, actually used it uh, this month for my cramps and it was super helpful. I just wish that I got the version that lets you adjust the heat. It, you just plug it in through USB. Um, it's really great. Um, the only downside about this one that I got specifically is that it doesn't let you adjust the heat. So when it gets really hot, I just unplug it. But this one was one of the cheaper heat pads that was on Temu, so um, still great deal. And I got another one of those organizers for my stickers. I love it so much. And it has holes in the back so that you can easily just hang it up on the wall so it doesn't take up space. It's so tidy. And I love how it holds all of my stickers and I can easily access them. And they're stackable too. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul. I had a lot of fun making it. Let me know what your favorite products were down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!